hi guys welcome back to another video it is currently raining so if you hear the sounds and my regular visitors to my video which are the bugs um kindly excuse that we're going to continue with our database activity that we have been doing if it is that you have not viewed the previous two videos i'll list them in the i card above um so we are going to start off with our first task which is to um enter the following information into the client's record table and after it is that we have entered this into the table we need to index the client's record table and the client name in ascending order now having populated the table already i'm just going to show you how it is that you would index the table for this activity Let's make our way over to Microsoft Access. All right, so here we are in Microsoft Access. And as I said before, I had populated the table already. I had some data in there and I deleted it. And as such, the client record number one is null and void. All right, so let's make our way over now to the design view. And in design view, we're going to select client name and once you select the client name you're going to come to the bottom of your screen here and you're going to look for indexed so here where it says indexed you're going to select yes and you're going to select duplicates or you have duplicates okay or no duplicates um you select duplicates okay when it is that you are using one table one feed to index and you use no duplicates when it is that you're using more than one field. All right, so here I have duplicates okay. After it is that I have selected that to ensure that it is in ascending order, ensure that the client name is still highlighted. Then you're going to come to the top here under design where it says indexes. Click on that and you will see client name right here that it is indexed and it is in ascending order. If it is that it said descending, then you would click on the arrow and then select descending. So all is well with that. We'll just close and go back. So what the index does, it allows you to find records in your table much easier. That is just the whole purpose of indexing. Let us expand these fields so that we can see exactly what, what is in each field all right so here we are we're finished with this table let us now look on the next task all right so here it says to open the tropical appliance wholesalers database and perform the following um instructions so here it says to create a form to enter the records for the appliance table so we already created the appliance table but to populate the table we are going to use the form object all right so let's head back over to microsoft access all right so here we are in access and we are going to open the appliance table so here there's nothing in it all right just to show you that all right let me close this all right, so we're going to go to create and we're going to select form wizard. You select form wizard right here where it says tables and queries. You're going to select the table that you want to use or to create in a form. Now it's already on appliance, but just let's say you had multiple tables and that's not the table that was highlighted. You will just click on the arrow and then select the table that you wish to use as a form. So here I'm going to select appliance table and here it will give you all the available fields that are in the table. If you don't want to use all the fields, you would use a single arrow and you would select the fields that you want and then send them over. If it is that you're using all the fields, then you would use the double arrow. And if it is that you made a mistake, you will use the arrows pointing to the left to basically send back the information on the other side and then start the process all over again 
all right so i'm going to use all the fields and then i'm going to select next after you select next you are going to select how is it that you want your form to look what's the feel of the form now you have four options here and whichever one you choose is quite fine it's just up to you and your taste data sheet is just like your data regular database table you have columnar tabular and justified so that's tabular that's data sheet that's justified and that's columnar so i'm going to select columnar select next and then you would give your form a name I'm going to keep the name appliance table here it says open form to view and enter information and that's what I'm going to keep it on and then I'm going to select finish all right so this is what we selected so now we're going to populate the table so here now for appliance name first appliance name was refrigerator Manufacturer was GE. The model number is R424. Oh, wrong face. So that's R424. And the serial number is 82736. The price is 3500 the client id is it and i'll check the box to see yes it is sold all right so that one is finished all right so it will tell you one of one record here and here it is now for me to add the next one i just select the next arrow and it will give me a blank form to fill all right so moving on to the second one let's do that again so that is stove and the manufacturer is console the model number is s789 and the serial number is four five six two two and the price is one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine client record is blank and then so no let us see moving on all right so i'm going to speed up this part and then i'll check back in with you as soon as i am finished All right, so here we are on the last one. All right, so we're finished. So now that we're finished, we're just going to close the table. And here now you will see the objects that we have in our database. So we have two tables and a form. And if you open the appliance table, you will see the information that we just used to enter the information into it via the form same thing if you go to the form you see the data that is there all right all right let's look back on the all right, right. Yeah. so we have created the form we have entered the information via form let's move on so it says enter the records in the appliance table index the table on serial number so let's go do that all right so here we are now so 
closes so we're going to go into the appliance table that is the table we have open we're going to design view so again we're going to select serial number and we're going to go down to the bottom here so it is already indexed because it is the primary key so here it says index yes no duplicates it says add a new field named description whose attributes are text and field size 50. format the new field to display description not available if no data is entered sort the appliance table um, according to price in descending order and index the appliance table on manufacturer followed by appliance in ascending order so now we are going to index based on two things all right so let's go and do that all right so we are already here so it says the add a new field name description right and it says its attribute is text so we're just going to have it as short text and the field size should be 50. it says format the new field to display description not available all right so for this task what we are going to do is you're going to go to format ensure that you have the field highlighted so you're going to go to format when you're in format you're going to put the at sign followed by a semicolon and you're going to type the text which is description not available all right then you're going to save your table you're going to save and then you're going to go back to your data sheet view and right here because there is no text displayed in these fields what you will see is node description not available all right so the next task is to sort the appliance table according to the price in descending order so when it is that you are going to sort a table you're sorting it so that your information can be more presentable or viewer friendly depending on what you are doing so i'm going to select the field that i want to sort by that's this one so it says item price and then right here under home you will see ascending or descending order and i'm going to select descending and it will automatically sort itself out all right the next task is to index the appliance table on manufacturer followed by appliance in ascending order all right so we're going to go back to design view expand this field all right so let's go back in design view now the last time we selected a field and then we went to the bottom where it says field properties and we selected the index the index now that we are going to use two fields what you're going to do is that we are going to go to right here where it says show or hide and we're going to select indexes after it is that you select this and this field appears you are going to look for the section which says index name and then right here in the first blank field we are going to type the names of the fields that we want to index by so it did say that we should index the appliance table on manufacturer um on manufacturer followed by appliance all right here 
let us put manufacturer all right let us select the same field name and it did say in ascending order so we're going to leave that all right so for our second field what you're going to do when it is that you are indexing using two fields in the next column you're going to leave that column blank and you're going to come over to field name and you're going to select the field name which is appliance and select ascending right so when you are indexing using two fields the first field that you want you're going to select the write the field name or you could put anything right here where it says index name and right here you will select the field name based on what you have in your database and then you select how it is that you want to sort it in the second column you're going to leave the index name blank and then you're going to go over to field name and select the second field name that you are indexing by let's close this right and Let's close our table and then select yes all right so that it that is it for our video today we have looked at how it is that we populate our table we have looked at how you create forms from an existing table and how is it that we populate a table using a form we also looked at indexing how you index using one field and how is it that we index using more than one fields? I hope you found this video very, very, very informative. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.